Hi, my name is Eileen Perez, and this is what is at the center of a planetary nebula. Okay, let's start talking about the death of a star. So during the main life of a star, we have in the core hydrogen. And the main process is hydrogen fusion, in which we take four hydrogen atoms and make one helium atom. Here we have a regular atmosphere with a lot of hydrogen and helium. Then after that, we run out of hydrogen. So what starts to happen to the star? Well, the core begins to collapse and there is own gravity. And then the outer shells are actually beginning to expand. So what happens is once we get the core compressed enough and the temperature hot enough to get helium to fuse, then we begin the helium fusion process. And here we turn helium into carbon. So here we have a helium fusion, here we have a hydrogen fusion layer, and here we still have the shell. And this will continue to expand and expand until we get to the face of a red giant. Here a red giant is like the outer layers have expanded so much that they've actually cooled down. So the outer layers of the star are very cold and they appear red. Now at the center of the star, now you have a carbon core, you have a helium layer, a hydrogen layer, and a really cool shell. Now what happens when helium is uh, fusing underneath hydrogen is that it starts sending oscillations throughout the star. And the stars begin to pulse. And eventually these pulsations build up and throw all the outer layers out into space and destroying the star entirely. So at, you end up with only a carbon core in the center and diffuse shell cloud all around it. So what is at the center of a planetary nebula is actually a carbon core. My name is Eileen Pires, and this is what's at the center of a planetary nebula.